Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer, Professional Psychic, and in this video we are going to be doing a reading all about your soul's journey and where your soul is going in this life. And if you're interested in that, stick around. If you like my videos on YouTube, then you would like a private reading from me even more. And if you're interested in that, there's going to be a link below. All right, you guys, I'm using for the first time ever my brand new Moonology uh, tarot cards. If you guys are interested in a review of this deck, you can see that. I will link it in the cards. But what I want you guys to do is think about your soul. This is a message to you from your soul, the depths of your soul, your soul's journey. And I want you to focus on this deck of cards or these three decks that you have in front of you. And I just want you to choose the one that you feel the most drawn to. This is deck number one with this little piggy. This is deck number two with the frog, and this is deck number three with the smoky quartz. And I just want you guys to know that everything is going to be time stamped so that you can absolutely skip ahead if you want to. No muss, no fuss. Let's begin. All right, you guys, we're going to start with deck number one. Let's put this pig on the side and let's see what this deck has to show you. I freaking love these cards and I love this reading for you. I'm super excited. You have obviously been stuck in a rut and what I'm feeling intuitively is that you've been holding on too much to a past relationship, to a past situation, a past mistake. And I feel like you're, you haven't allowed yourself to, to be out of that prison that you've put yourself in of shame, guilt, fear. And I feel like this is your time to start taking those steps that you need to take to make the changes in your life. And that can start with a small thing, like just choosing a new lipstick or a new nail polish, or it can be a big thing like starting a weight loss, a weight loss journey or starting a new, you know, maybe to look for a new job. But I feel like you have been in a rut and I feel like you feel that you don't deserve any better. You feel like this life that you're living is all that you're deserving of. And that's terrible. You may not know exactly what you want. You may not know exactly the direction that you're supposed to be going in. And that's okay because that's coming. But in the meantime, focus on releasing yourself from the prison, releasing yourself from your run, and try to do some small changes in your life. Whether you try a few more healthy eating habits or, like I said, a new lipstick, a new nail polish, you know, cleaning out your closet. Those things can have a great impact on your energy and help you greatly. So that is the message for you from your soul. Your soul is like, we're in prison. We want you on out. Come on. All right, next we're going to focus on this little froggles. I love frogs. Frogs are so good about renewing energy and evolving and just wonderful. So let's see what your deck says with Mr. Froggles. Oh, wait, do you have four cards? No. These are a new card deck. So, oh, goodness gracious. Wow, is this a great spread or what? Your hard work is paying off. You're gaining momentum. You're very close to your goal. Um, amazing, really, really amazing. And I feel like you have just been really, really doubting yourself lately. I feel like you have a low self-esteem issue. And I feel like you always think, am I wanting too much? Am I asking too much? Am I hoping for too much? You know, should I be dreaming this big? Blah, 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 blah. And the truth is, yes, you should. Sky's the limit. You're a good person. You deserve to be happy. And, you know, I think that when you're raised to feel small and to feel limitation and when you dealt with people that are trying to not maybe not purposefully, you know, to be mean, but because of their own conditioning are holding you back, you tend to feel like an oddball and like you're different for wanting more. But you're not, you know, dream big, take chances. This is your time. You know what all the effort and manifestation and work and everything that you've been putting in. It's, you know, it's you've been working so hard. You're going to get what you want. You just have to keep at it and really, really don't lose sight of your goal. Don't lose sight of that brass ring that's important to you. It's going to happen for you. I think this reading came up for you for one specific reason. I think that you're feeling doubt, you're feeling insecure, and you're feeling a sense of like, am I reaching too high or should I really do this? And, you know, you're not. So here's we go. Here's we go. Here's we go, kids. Deck number three with this beautiful smoky quartz. Let's see what your message is. Okay. 
All right, you guys, this is a very interesting deck. I'm excited about this one. It says, believe in the impossible. It's time to take action. And I forget what the last one said. Hold on, let me look at it. Your commitment is being tested. So what I'm getting about this is this is time to put your money where your mouth is. This is time to, to really, you know, push yourself further than you thought you could. Now, I'm just going to say I'm reading this as a relationship reading because that's just the feeling I get about this. This could pertain to anything else. And if you look at these cards and you feel something different from what I'm saying, then you listen to your own gut. You have to listen to you above all. So just know that for any of the card readings I do, if you feel something different, go with that. But what I'm getting is that you're about to... I feel like there's somebody in your life that you definitely have feelings for. There's somebody in your life that you want to have a closer connection with. And I feel like this is the chance that you have to kind of make a move. Now, this doesn't mean you have to go and, and serenade them under a window and, and throw flowers at them. It, you know, subtlety is an art. Uh, but start to be more open about your feelings. Start to let things show a little bit more. Start to, um, maybe it's somebody that you're not talking to right now there's been a disagreement or a problem and you're needing to reach out because you want them to reach out to you but sometimes people are damaged and they just aren't able to and this may be your kind of sign to reach out and to make that effort and to to make that contact because sometimes that can be the thing that is needed to turn everything around and you know a lot of times people can be in love with you but they're afraid they have insecurities and fears and you know, there's always going to be one person in a relationship that's a little bit stronger and than the other. There's always going to be an alpha and a beta or a leader and a follower. And it may be that you're the leader. Um, I don't want to limit this reading to just relationship stuff. I mean, that's just the feeling that I get when I look at these cards. This could be about taking action and asking for a promotion. It could be about, you know, taking action and... Um, you know, moving, whatever you want, whatever it is for you, that's what it is. But I, I definitely think this is calling you to put your money where your mouth is and make that move. Take that chance. Be brave. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I sure did. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. And if you guys want to subscribe, I would appreciate it. Take care and have a wonderful day.